All right, so look, you got a Jeep Gladiator and you want to tow something. You got a couple choices. You can get an add-on hitch, a couple different sizes, depending on how much you want to tow, how deep you want to get under there. Uh, one of your choices is to actually cut out this little hole right here and you can screw in a straight ball or while you have that hole cut out, you could take the bolt out and you could add something like this Kurt. Uh, I'm not really down with the hole being drilled in it, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the bumper off and we are going to hopefully just take it off just enough to get these bolts in, in and out of there and then we're going to put it all back together and we're going to tow stuff. So let's check it out. All right, on the side, we are looking at a 5 8 couple little 5 8 bolts right here that we're going to take off. Uh, the top one's a little tough to get to. If you have a deep socket, you're going to need it. I'm using a crescent wrench, so I'm kind of using an over the top and wind it around the bottom technique. Get a little more room. Uh, but let me pop these off and see where we're at. All right, so once you have these two bolts right there done, then there's going to be a couple that are on the inside. Let's take a look. They're right up inside of there. So what you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to have to take your license plate off and back these two bolts out right here. So after those bolts, you should just be able to grab it. There's going to be wiring in here. We didn't take any of that out. So we're just going to pull it off slightly. See that wiring is connected right there. We're going to lower this half to the ground. We're going to leave the rest prop right there. All right, so first thing, the easy part. Slides right underneath there. The screw comes right down on the top here. It secures right in. We are gonna tighten that up after the next step. All right, once we're tightened down just a little bit here, I just wanna be able to make sure the holes line up. This is gonna be the fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed it up into here into the truck and then what it's going to do is it's going to follow all the way down and it's going to pop off here all right so there it is all right fish it out of there and then this little piece of screw right off Pro tip for this part right here, when this is hanging out of the end of the uh, sway bar there, or the bumper, uh, you don't want to try to have it tight and then drop it in there. It didn't, it didn't work so good. It got jammed in there like this. So what I did was I kept it loose. And as you pull it through, this works itself to the right spot. And then this comes, drops, drops in a lot better. All right. I mean, except for fishing that little line through and the little error on that getting that little plate loose instead of hooked to the screw so when you pull it through it stops and then the screw slides into place be about the only tip um other other than that it went on real straightforward uh i guess you could actually just unhook the cable that's back there and probably take this whole bumper off um i didn't i just pulled this side off uh let it hang right there just gonna sit, sit it back up bolt it back down uh, we should be good to go. Yeah, I'll take it easy.